hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss in brief about the priming and foaming priming and foaming is a boiler trouble what is meant by priming priming means it is the phenomenon in which small water droplets are carried along with the steam let us suppose it is the boiler so through boiling process what happens sometimes water droplets will be carried along with the steam and this phenomenon is called as the priming the main reasons for priming are large amount of dissolved salts so if the hardness of the water sample is very high it is responsible for the priming high steam velocities sudden boiling improper boiler design so how to avoid priming priming can be avoided by adopting one of the following techniques mechanical steam purifiers can be used to avoid priming or especially the sudden change in the steaming rate should be avoided or it's better to maintain low water levels in the boilers and moving to the foaming foaming is defined as the phenomenon in which persistent foam is formed which is unbreakable so formation of persistent foam over the boiler water is called as foaming and this foaming is mainly due to the presence of large amount of impurities that means if the hardness of the water is very high it is responsible for the foaming or sometimes due to the presence of oil foaming takes place it can be avoided by the addition of castor oil or by adding sodium aluminate and coming to the disadvantages of priming and foaming especially priming and foaming occur together and hence they can be called as carry over so the main disadvantages of foaming includes the actual height of the water in the boiler is unpredictable the efficiency of the boiler decreases at the same time there is a chance for the decrease of lifetime of the machinery this is all about the priming and foaming if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day